Oh hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to the new video. And basically, in this video, we're going to discuss bi-weekly contest one one three. We're going to discuss all four problems, but we're going to have individual videos for all the four problems. So if you are looking for every of those questions, you can just go and search the problem name by Aryan Mittal or just problem name in Aryan Mittal, and you will see the problem. Cool. Start with the first problem. Uh, minimum rights. Minimum right shifts to sort the array, although it's a very standard problem of a binary search, if you remember. But still, like you can just solve it simply because of what it is given in the problem. Cool. Uh, we are having a zero indexed array nums of length n containing distinct positive integers. Again, the fact is that the, all the integers are distinct and we have to return the minimum number of right shifts. Okay, we have to return the minimum number of right shifts required to sort nums and one or minus one if it is not possible again um, it just says that the nums contains distinct integers and it's pretty less so you can just try any of the for solutions that's the reason it is in the easy problem it, it's in the easy portion but we will just go and have a look that hmm if we can just solve it most optimally which means in just one one iteration right cool uh we just say okay a right shift is just that you just have from the end and you just completely right shift so it just goes and one two will come in the start so after right shifting twice it will become a one two three four five which is actually sorted so for sure the only operation you can do is right shift so it should be something like this okay increasing and then increasing so that after bringing this right increasing part as you can do the right shift so you can just bring the right increasing part here so it should become a completely increasing one and that ultimately was what i want so ultimately you can just remember just by this condition you can just know one thing that in the worst to worst possible case it can be just increasing and then again increasing so that's a prime condition that okay it will have just one break okay mountain mountain increasing and then a drop extreme drop and then again increasing a bit a bit right it is it is how it should look like ideally or it can be just again increasing increasing which means no drop at all so only these two conditions we can easily see that it will satisfy so one thing what we can do is to eliminate if it is impossible or if it is minus one which means if it has no ways is just to say while i am going in from left to right i'll just say okay it's increasing cool it's increasing cool okay it's it's decreasing which means i have found one drop okay one drop was actually okay at max i can have one drop cool it's again increasing cool one drop it's okay so me so it can have answer cool it's increasing it's increasing okay no drops still my maximum drops were actually one so again it is also possible to have an answer cool um it's uh, decreasing okay i found out drop and again increasing uh uh, maybe it's, it, it can still have an answer but you know okay uh, if it would have been something as uh, three four five again one two and then again let's say another drop would have come in uh, five uh, let's say although the problems problem says that the elements are distinct but for god's sake like let's say take three and then again take four uh, just a, an example to, to show okay if there are multiple drops and again, if I just say, okay, it's an, an, another drop. So it has just two drops. So it's impossible to actually just do a right shift and sort it down again. Cool. Now, one thing I for sure got, okay, uh, that I should have one drop at max. Now that one drop just will indicate me that, okay, if I have for sure, if I have no drops, which means it was entirely sorted, no drops at all, which means it is already sorted. No shifts required. Answer, please return a zero. If you found the drops are more than one, so please return a minus one. It's it's impossible. Cool. Uh, now we have found one drop. So that one drop, it can be the answer, which means I found a drop at index zero, one, two, three. So I can just say, okay, number of elements were five. I found the drop at index three. So five minus three, just saying the remaining last two elements, I'll just right shift and bring it to the right, bring it to the left. So okay, answer will be two. So are, are you saying, okay, as soon as you find the right drop and for sure, when you find that drop, please mention the index also of that drop. Now, okay, you have found the drop at the index three, as you can see now, three to four, four to five, it's going on five to one. Ah, we found a drop. It should be increasing. As soon as I got decreasing, it's a drop. Okay, I found a drop at index three. 
so 5 is the number of elements last is at the index 3 so number of remaining elements are 2 in the end so I'll just shift that and bring my answer so the answer is 2 simple here the answer was already 0 so I am saying that okay you will find the right drop location and that will be the answer ultimately yeah I am saying that but please make sure that okay you found a right drop although you can just simply say that okay I'll just push on the last two elements and it should be in the end but as you as, as soon as you place one four you will see that okay it's not increasing which means you have to compare the starting and the end, end indexes also Aryan, why only starting in the end indexes because you had make sure this drop make sure okay it is increasing again it is increasing so you after this should come in so ultimately what will happen is as you know that it is a drop so the right part will come in the left so for sure this right part should be smaller than the left part and you are ultimately comparing with the smallest value of the left part to the largest value of the right part and that will be the extreme left will be the like the first element will be the extreme left which is the smallest element and the extreme right will be the largest element and ultimately this thing should come in and should be like this right so ultimately this part should be less than the this part the end should be less than the start if it is a, if it is there good if it is not for sure it is never possible it is a wrong thing answer is minus one and that's how you can simply in one pass you can simply go and check if you have or what is the location of that right shift Cool, let's look at let's look at that uh, code uh, again we will have the n as nums pivot index is the index at which we find a drop and pivot count is the just to see okay how many number of drops are there now i'll just go on in my entire array i'll just see okay if nums of i minus one if it is more than nums of i which means i found a drop okay just get that index of that drop and also increase the count of how many number of such drops you are getting Ultimately, if the number of drops count is more than one, simply turn my son because it's never possible to actually right shift and make that in the sorted order, ascending order. And if the pivot ID is zero, uh, which means it's already sorted, simply return zero. Last condition that I'll just go and check for the extreme right. If it is more than the extreme left, which means after bringing that extreme right to the left, it will not be sorted so please return a minus one else you have the answer it is n minus your id of pivot it is n minus pivot id and that's how i can simply solve the question number one i see again uh, i had this explained especially although it's an easy question but i explained that specially because of one pass we solved it in one pass and that's all cool again all the problems are coming in bye bye